Nikki's been working out here in the garden. So let's take a look. See how the raised beds are doing. See, uh, we've got tomatoes growing here. This is pretty cool. I bought, I bought these blocks all at Lowe's. And this wasn't cheap to do, but you know, it's an investment in the future here. I hope I've got uh, these blocks that I did. Um, the top ones I had to cut. Of course, all of them I had to cut so they'd fit together right and make the little, uh, the little shape that we made here. So uh, we've got, I guess, cauliflower and broccoli. We've got some onions over there in the back. I don't know, oregano and stuff she's got. We've got radishes there. Uh, these are all a bunch of different kinds of bell peppers, different colors and such. We've got some asparagus that we bought that's you know, this is what this wafy kind of stuff is here, this uh, wispy stuff. And we've got some other asparagus that's down in the ground and hopefully it'll turn into what that is. Jeez, I think those are cantaloupes. Uh, we're going to have to put something on it, probably for those eventually to trail up. And I can't remember what she's planted in there, something under the ground. Cucumbers and some some strawberries over here we have um, so over here we have the uh, zucchini and summer squash that's going to come up hopefully and we planted all of our blueberries which seem to be doing really good it looks like maybe i'm going to have some blueberries this year i got these at painters in uh, marion which if you don't know what about painters not marion old ford actually it's a good place to go. All these bushes were big there and they were like way cheaper than what you get at Lowe's. No offense to the Lowe's folks. It's like the Lowe's ones were, I don't know, 10 bucks for a little bitty one and these were like 15 bucks for, for these are gonna have berries on them, look at that. I believe we're really gonna have some berries this year. I'm shooting this with a little old flip video right now. But so this is the uh, raised bed that I built this year. Garden seems to be doing pretty well. This is just, uh, what is today, April the 13th, Friday 13th. That is a fire pit that I used to, uh, I actually used it to good effect this morning because it was around freezing and I had a big fire in there and I think it kept all the frost away because it you could feel it 40 feet away. You could feel the uh, all the heat coming off of it. And we're trying to bring everything together. It's taken a little while for it all to come together and look nice. Uh, these woods are down here I'm trying to clear out and that's what all this wood and stuff down here is I got a place in here where I can burn brush and chopping down trees and stuff trying to clear a, a, a view out the view once those big trees are gone there uh, which are directly in front I can actually see the Charlotte skyline I can see the Panther Stadium and uh, this is of course in Valdez on Appian Way up on Mineral Springs Mountain I can see the big Bank of America buildings and all that. Here's our little trail that we've built this year, uh, back of the house with uh, the rose bushes. And Nikki does a great job with rose roses and stuff. The little trail here I kind of cut out and used river rock and some stones and stuff from up at my mom and dad's house. So, oh, we got strawberries back here, and. They do real well back here in this ground. This is the native soil back here, not stuff that I've bought. Uh, planted some, let's see, some apple trees. That's actually, a, I think, a gala or a Fuji. I have a few that I put in last year as a cherry tree over there. Those are some peaches and pears. Got a pink lady apple down there. It's one of my favorites, uh, favorite kinds of apples. If you've not tried the pink lady, it's awesome. So check it out, Nikki got some pretty little roses here. I've not really been paying attention to those, but those are going to be nice early on. She says that one over there is actually her prettiest one. These pink ones are coming out real nice though now. That's pretty. pretty stuff. So eh, let's go back around this way. Take it back in the house here in a minute. There's the truck, and there's my case for my uh, chainsaw. Let's see how the rest of the flowers are looking today. Our Japanese maples looking pretty nice. Some kind of critter over there. What is that? Rabbit? What was that? 
watch it jump out and like bite my face off. What's in there? I don't know what that was. Some kind of, some kind of creature. I'm pursuing it. Pursuing the creature. Probably was a rabbit. I don't see it. Oh well, okay. She has extra tomatoes growing over here. Still here in some kind of critter. Okay, roses again. Put her little flag up, and purple stuff. And what all else? I guess that's it, that's when we made the rounds. Like her little painting there, she's done. We've actually got a little Japanese maple she's growing in the. Oh, well, if something's eating it. No? Any bugs or. Oh, that's just odd. Maybe it doesn't like that salt. Japanese maple might be in trouble. We'll talk about that. Okay, let's go inside. I think we got Philly cheesesteak for dinner. Merry, merry uh, evening to y'all, Friday the 13th of April 2012.